Hi, and welcome to this Fornaf Coffee Break. My name is René Brumel. I'm a product specialist at Fornaf, and I will be your presenter today. As this Coffee Break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the Coffee Break. Today, we're going to create new Business Central Excel reports. In an earlier Coffee Break, we, we discussed editing the existing Fornaf Excel reports. Today, we will create some new ones. To create a new Excel report, all you need to do is create a new report from the Excel template and add the data that you need to add. Compared to normal reports, the Excel report data sets are pretty flat since Excel uses a basic list format. You can still get data from more than one table though. Let's, have, let's go and have a look. To demonstrate creating Excel reports, I'm going to use these steps. The prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will create a new Excel report. In step three, I will add related data. In step four, I will add a second data item. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will work on a Business Central on-premise server with the Business Central 2023 Wave 2 release. I've installed the universal code version of the Fornaf customizable report pack, and I have executed the step-by-step -step visit from the assisted setup to get started. I've also installed the Fornaf designer, which can be downloaded from the Fornaf website. The first thing we need to do is to create the Excel report, and we can do that from the designer. So let's open the Fornaf designer, where we have the new button, which gives us the report collections. And if I go to the report templates, you will find a new empty Excel template. And when I open that, it takes a little while because it needs to think about it. But when I do get the report, you will see that I've got an empty report, much like any normal report with an object name and an object number. And I'm happy with the object number. And of course the object name, I will uh, do something to make it uh, to make it my own. So I call it the Fornav My Excel List, and that's everything I need to do to set up the uh, the report. And then, like any other report, we want to add a data item because we want to get some actual data from Business Central. I will get my item table for a list of items, and that's it. Now, what we would normally do in a standard Fornav report is we would want to maybe insert a section to get our data on the report. And we can't do that in an Excel report because Excel reports don't use sections. They just create the Excel layout. So I can add data items, but not any sections. So if I want to add any fields to my report, I need to select my data item. And in the data item, we have a property called fields. And in there, when I open it, you will find that I can select a list of fields. So let's grab the number and the description. Of course, I need to do this with a field with a ton of with a table with a ton of fields. But never mind. Let's get the unit price. I want the inventory, and I want the vendor. Now you can see that all I've got, all, all I can select is the vendor number. So let's grab that one. And that's a list of fields that I want to use inside my Excel export uh, that I'm going to get. And I can add any field from the item table that's there. Um, can be any field in the standard Business Central extension or in any uh, per tenant or ISV extension you want. So hit OK. Now you will. Some of you might notice I've used the inventory field and the inventory is a flow field, meaning that it isn't, it doesn't hold any data inside the underlying database, uh, but the data is calculated whenever it is needed, uh, which means that I need to tell for enough to calculate it. So in the calculated fields, I'm going to add inventory. So for enough knows it needs to calculate the inventory. That's pretty much it. I can save as an object on server just like any other report. And once I've done that, I can preview my report, which downloads an Excel report. 
And if we look at the report, you will notice that we've got the, uh, the fields that have specified number, description, unit price, inventory, and vendor number, and the inventory is calculated. You will find the 4NAV trial version right here. I can delete it right now. And of course, if you have a 4NAV license, the trial version um, big picture box will disappear altogether. So that's the first step. Now that we have an Excel report, we may want to get some data from a table that is related to the source table. So you noticed I could only select the vendor number earlier. What if we want to get some extra data from the vendor table? To do that, I can add a related table to my Business Central report. I don't need to add any data items because it is a one-on-one -on -one relationship. I've only got one vendor per item. So I can open my records collection and add a new record here which is going to be record number 23, which is the vendor. I'm going to link this to my item table. And for now, will automatically specify the data item link. The vendor number is linked to the field vendor number on the item table. Of course, you can change that if you want. That gives me the vendor table. And if I want to add fields from the vendor table to my Excel report, to my Excel list, I've got a fields property in here as well, which opens where I can get my vendor name and anything else from the, uh, from the vendor table that I could want. So if I wanted to, I can grab the, uh, the address as well or the balance or anything I want. So add that, hit OK. Save and preview and open the Excel list again. And you will find that I now have the vendor name and the vendor address as well. And you will notice that some of these items don't have a vendor connected to them. And in that case, of course, for now, leaves the vendor name and the vendor address blank. Finally, we want, we want to add a second data item to show the bill of material, the items per item. So I've got a secondary data item, which is going to display more than one record. If you remember the vendor item, the vendor record I've added only contains one vendor per item. So that's pretty simple, it's pretty flat. This time I want to add a complete new data item, which is going to get more than one record per, uh, per item. So I'm going to grab a data item. And in the data item, I'm going to look for the BOM components. And I need to specify the data item link where parent item number is connected to the number from the item table. Hit OK, and that gives me the BOM component data item. And in the BOM component data item, I can get my fields. We go i can get my fields and in here i can grab my parent item number i can get my number which is going to be the item in the bomb i can get the description i can get the quantity per hit okay save as object on server i've changed the report data set so that means i must save as object on server Hit OK, open my Excel list. There we go, we still have exactly the same item table with number, description, unit price, inventory, vendor number, name and address. And I've got a new tab, which is the BOM component. And in my BOM components, I've got the fields that I've specified. So I've got the item number and per item number, I've got my the item numbers that are part of the uh, bill of materials. The description and how many I use, and of course, for now, adds these really cool filters so I can filter per item. Let's recap what we just did. The first step is to create a new report and add our base data item. 
The next step is to add any data from related tables, like the vendor that is related to the item. Finally, we added an extra data item that is to display the bills of material. Of course, you can also change the formatting of your Excel layout, add pivot tables, etc. We discussed all of this in an earlier coffee break. You may need to merge data from multiple tables into a single Excel list. And this is also possible if you merge the business data with a, with a temporary table. We are going to discuss this in a future coffee break. Thank you very much for listening to me so far. I can see we don't have any questions at this moment. So I'm going to wrap up, wrap up this coffee break. If you want to know more about Fornav, or if you want to, want to download the Fornav Designer and Converter, please visit our website. If you want to install Fornav in Business Central Cloud, please visit the Microsoft App Source. You can watch more videos about Fornav on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions about Fornav, please email them to support at fornav.com. For a full list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks, please visit fornav.com slash coffee break. Thank you very much for listening to me today and goodbye.